Hey folks, got some exciting news for you and that I'm happy to announce. What we're going to do in, the, in light of uh, phase two from our, our governor, and we are so glad for uh, everyone getting uh, a little closer to well, and uh, that's what phase two is proving out to being, that all the mask wearing and all the uh, uh, self-quarantine is, is, uh, is paying off, and we're thankful for that. But anyway, we're up to phase two now, so that allows more capacity here at the church in a congregational setting. Now, I'm going to, I, I'm, we're still not back to normal. Don't wave the total victory flag yet. We're partial victory, okay? Well, we're total victory in Christ, but not in our, in our church. So here's where we're at right now. Here's what I'm going to do. I've decided to do this. It's all on me, okay? But what I want to do starting this coming Sunday, all right? I want us to have one service, two services. No one has complained of the worship team, but two services is hard on the voices, okay? And they, they're putting in extra time on that. And I'm going to tell you this. Physically, I'm okay with doing two services. My voice is not okay with doing two services. So I ask you to, be, to go along with this now and be okay with it. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop starting this next Sunday, we're going to drop back to one service. It will start at 9.30. When we had two services running back to back, what happened was the overwhelming majority of people that attended came to the early service. So the majority of your church family wants to come to the early church, early service, and then go on home. Here's the thing. We're, we just broke into June airspace, folks. And I'm going to tell you something. I remember from last year, I have not forgotten, summer is hot in Louisiana, in case you have forgotten or just moved here. It's very hot. So the more we can get this done early, and that's not to get it out of the way at all, but we can get this service done early, it will be a lot uh, better on our air conditioners here at the church because we'll drop them back some then, see? And it's going to be better on the voices of the praise and worship team. It's going to be better on the voice of the preacher. And so if you will just please allow us to, during this summer, let's go to one early service on Sunday morning. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a 930 service. That's all on Sunday morning. We're going to allow up to 55, 60 max people in the sanctuary. Now, that's first come, first serve, and you can't put your Bible or your water bottle there and try to save your, your seat from week to week, okay? But first come, first serve here in the sanctuary, starting at 930, and anybody that's, when we get hit 55, we're going to ask you to please sit in the overflow. We had uh, several people out in the overflow that chose to be there last week, and it worked for them. So it's, it's going to be a win. Is it a change? Yes. Many people don't like change, but I'm going to tell you, this change will be for the better for the time being, okay? For the time being. So remember, this next Sunday, we're going to have one Sunday service. It will start at 930 so I'm excited about this. I, I like trying stuff new, not just for the sake of trying something new, but it, I, I, the cooler, man, I always, I like to work my overtime back when I had a real job. I like to work it at the front of my shift because that way you're coming in at the, at the, uh, at the cooler part of the morning. Now you were at work at 3 a.m., but it's still, it's cooler. And uh, that's how I liked it. So anyway, remember 930, you pass it along to your friends, okay? Because uh, you don't want to show up here and, and wonder where sister or brother so-and-so is, and they're wondering where church is. Because when they get here at 1030, we're leaving. Okay, God bless you, folks. And you, you pray for me and all the leaders, uh, whether it be uh, church leaders or whether it be governmental leaders, as we uh, negotiate uh, this whole thing with COVID-19. God bless you and keep you. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday morning at 930, and I'm even going to get out there in the overflow and greet. I missed you all last week. I'm going to catch you this week. God bless you and keep you. You have a wonderful remainder of the week in the Lord Jesus Christ. For in him we live and move and have our being.